It's Fandom Friday. I didn't know where that was going. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome in. I'm Zordon of Doom. I'm a singer, songwriter, and I make content here on YouTube. I also stream on Twitch, and I have music up on Spotify, Apple Music, and here on YouTube. If you are here today, I am going to be doing a reaction that should have been a part of last week's reaction. I did say that I was going to react to Reiko and Mazel this week, because I did record that reaction, but B first dropped the dance performance for Master Plan. So that's being moved to next week. And I'm going to be reacting to Master Plan dance performance now. By the time you see this video, I will already be in the Philippines. It is the 24th. I am leaving for the Philippines tomorrow. So I'm filming these in advance. So when I recorded Master Plan from last week, that was recorded on Monday. So it was before the dance performance ever dropped. So yeah, this is me catching up. Without further ado, let's get into this dance performance. Also, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Also leave down in the comments what I should react to next. There's a whole bunch on my list that I need to react to, but we'll take it one thing at a time. All right, B first master plan dance performance. I already broke down the music video last week and um, what I hypothesized the song is about and a little bit of the lyrics. So it'll be nice to just focus on the choreography. So it's and Reyna did such a good job. All right, here we go. In three, two, and one. Hey. Not me just realizing that we didn't see any of the verses. It was mainly just the chorus with them together.
Oh my gosh! Wait. Halfway through, I realized that a lot of Bestie who went to their concert and their performance saw this live already. So you've already seen the choreography. You've seen be first in all of their positions. That's really cool. I really like how they incorporated the choreography into their solo parts in the music video. Like you could see all of the hits that they did even without the blocking that they have with each other. A good example of that would be Ryoki when he's walking down the hallway with all of the awards and then he goes into the room, he still hits that one part that he does in the actual choreography. And I love those little small details that they still managed to keep in the music video. Sota did such a good job. I think one of the big things about Sota and Reina's choreography, I notice is the footwork. Because if you just look at the top half of what they're doing, like, oh, they're just chilling. You look at their feet and you're just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so technical i can understand why compared to mazel they're doing a full-on performance so they're singing and dancing at the same time to a camera be first when they do a dance performance they are not focused on singing so there are parts where they're not mouthing the lyrics even though it's their part to sing because they're focused on the choreography and it's choreography first. And I think that's something really interesting with Be First, especially like this that has camera angles, camera guy knowing the choreography and it looking this good. Normally you would have them singing the song while they're dancing, but because of how technical and how hard they go, I think when I first watched their dance performances, I thought that could be a problem because usually the way that I'm taught is when you perform or you practice, you practice how you practice on stage. So you have to make sure that you're going full out when it's meaningful, seeing their dance performance to seeing the live performance. The parts where they actually sing, Be First focuses on singing. So they don't do the choreography when it's their time to sing. But because this is called dance performance, they're focusing on dancing. So they're not gonna lip sync to their song. <laughs> I'm finally understanding that that's what this is. There are bits where they are, but they're going full out. Next point, I said last week that their background must be CGI. And this is the office space. And part of me wants to think that this is still CGI, but it's not. This looks to be the actual office space from the music video, just all the lights off and no desks. They darkened the back of the space to make it seem like it's an endless room. So it's to give the illusion that it's an endless room, just like the music video. And the ceiling like this, the lines definitely help give that impression to make the room feel longer than it actually is. So they didn't have to CGI the endless background. This is just me guessing, but when they filmed this and they had all the lights on, they probably had green screen in the back where the darkness is so that they can make it extend. This was amazing as always. It was nice to see their blocking. I'm excited to see the live performance because I know you guys have seen it already. Now. I'm just realizing maybe I should have waited until the live performance dropped because they're definitely going to drop the live performance, but that might end up being its own video. And I think that's all I got to say for this. Incredible job. It is wonderful being part of Bestie. All right, guys, that is it for this week's reaction. Thank you so much if you stayed till the end. Please let me know what you think of the dance performance, what you think about the music video, if this is your first time seeing be first what are your impressions what do you think and bestie thank you so much for being here and i appreciate you all right guys i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week keep being awesome keep being fantastic don't forget that no matter how it is you are feeling you are a w e s o m e you are a w e s o m e all right, guys, see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,